Hi and welcome to Scholar's Teacher. I'm Jay and in this tutorial we'll be talking about form masters. Form teachers have an autumn grace logged in into, the, into her account and she happens to be the vice principal. Now, uh, assigning uh, teachers to become form teachers of various classes and arms in the, on the platform is done by the form uh, by the vice principal. And on this, and you can see on this dashboard, dashboard we have the form teacher dashboard here. And uh, what uh, we have said previously about uh, the uh, the vice principal's account is that all these dashboards, admission, appraisal, communication, exams, form teacher, HOD, house master, student, um, all of them are referencing the current term of the school. Now, if you want to work on the form teacher's or previous term or forthcoming term, you use this particular uh, previous list to access that. This one is a forthcoming term. You can use that to access the or create form teachers for that term or visitors for form teachers for that term. Or for previous term, you can use this one to view form teachers for that term and the form teachers for pre uh, create form teachers for the previous term or view form teachers for previous term. Now, that is that for that. And uh, we have another concept we are going to describe, which is perpetually active. Now, we have that uh, the form teachers account is this. We can create this account by clicking on this. And we can click, uh, use this particular uh, button to actually view already existing form teachers. Let's create a form teacher and see how it works. When we click that button, we present it with a form whereby we are going to select a particular teacher and select the particular arm with the, which the teacher is going to become the form teacher of that arm. Now we now we can select a, a, the arm which the person is going to be the form teacher. Let's say we are, we'll be talking about, um, let's say... Let's, let's say UBA, UBA 3A and uh, the form teacher, the person to be the form teacher will be also hope. We can save that and the uh, automatic also hope will be assigned to the form teacher. It says that the form teacher was successfully saved. It means that uh, UBA 3A also hope will become the form teacher of UBA 3A and the person is not perpetually active and the person is active and uh, it was last modified by Alden Grace. Now we can go back um, to if you already created a form teachers which are doing uh, hope also hope will be among them. We can click on this view from teachers. We we'll find out that um, uh, UBA 3A also hope become one of those form teachers. And uh, this one is already a form teacher. Lita is a form teacher of SS 2A. This is a which is a form teacher of uh, SS 2D. And uh, we can edit that to remove it. Uh, let's say we want to change this as a which is from being a form teacher of SS 2D to another person. We can click on that edit. And when we click on that edit, we have, we have the form where we are going to select another person to become a form teacher of SS 2 D. Now this is the form, and we can select another person. Maybe we can select a uh, Charles Odo, uh, Chamaka, and we can click on edit. That person will become assigned to become the form teacher of uh, SS2D. Uh, and now we have that uh, it was previously that is the form teacher was edited. The previous state was that it was a to be cheering, and it's now because it's now become Charles Odo Chamaka, and it happened. On uh, this particular date, and it was my favorite doing grace. The previous person I created this particular one was uh, it's the mass somebody, and this person ha happens to be another vice principal on the platform. Now, therefore, we can actually click on this. I will go back to the home page of the of the vice principal. Now, when we click on this, we can have access to uh, that record, and we we'll find out that uh, it has already been changed as uh, expected. Now we ha we're now having Chajudo Chamaka as a form teacher of SS2D. And one beauty of this is this this particular interface, this particular uh, assignment here that happened here. When Ali Dia logs in, he will find out that he has been he is the word form teacher of SS2D. Chajudo Chamaka, when she logs in, she will find out that she is the SS2D form teacher and she will have access to the attendance of the students um, marking of the attendance and uh, also preparing of their report card and uh, every other as, uh, every other normal activity that a form teacher should perform with the students and uh, that is uh, how it is done and uh, this particular field that is perpetually active this is a particular um a particular mechanism whereby when a term as the expiration of a term when a term uh, has Past and uh, 
all records that the form teacher can work with uh, for that particular term, the form teacher will no longer be able to work with them again. It will no longer be editable on this platform. And uh, what this is, how the system, how you can actually give the person capability to actually re carry out some of the, the uh, some of the modification the person may have done wrongly, or in a situation whereby there is an error. Uh, you make their account to be perpetually active. When you make the account perpetually active, it means that it will no longer look at whether the term is current or not. The person can actually work, work on that on those data for that uh, particular class, uh, even after the expression of that term. Now, and after that, after she has finished her work, then you can actually take her back to the perpetually active of no, of none, of no, and uh, the person will no longer have access to that again. But as long as the term is current, every all data for that term can be changed by the form teacher, by the subject teacher, and by the HOG. Now, and any particular account, either form teacher, HOG, or house master, account that is perpetually active, it will always indicate, it's always been indicated by in the yeah, on the lowest portion of the home page of both the vice principals and the and the principal, so that they will be able to know that there is a there is a comp the somebody is perpetually active and can actually have a malicious effect on the data, uh, of the data on the platform. Like this one, how that is reaching a good six months in 2014 her account is perpetually active as a form as a subject teacher and the HOG of this Alita or HOD of Science is account is virtually active so these two persons can work on those uh, uh, on those uh, on those records even if as you and uh, and you even if when they are uh, the term they are assigned to is no longer the current term of the school system and uh, we where how we can actually change that uh, make that uh, Modification about assigning someone as a perpetually active. You can click on this particular link of uh, 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 from teacher versus so this thing will now be present with it as well. This, this particular interface comes with uh, the modification. You can see that uh, all the grace made this modification, changing the solution to uh, charge uh, the doctor as the teacher as a sign up for that class. You can see that this recorder is actually logged there against what against all the creators as the person that modified it. And you can see that uh, we can click on this button to make the this account virtually active. When we click on this even the experience, when at the end of the expression of this particular current term, she can also make a uh, modification to that. And this particular thing is very useful when at the expression of any particular term and we find out that the record was from the then we can click on this to make the person Virtually access so that within that time frame, maybe uh, within some hours or a day, the person can actually correct that particular mistake and you can revoke that capability by clicking on this. It will now have the text there revoke and will revoke the virtual access state of that account as a form teacher. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. We look forward to seeing you next tutorial and make sure your school is signed up on our school.